Hi everyone. A question that is often asked of mariners in their oral examination is that can EGDIS be used for collision avoidance? In today's video, I'm going to be answering this question. And please watch the video till the end because I will also show you a clip from the EGDIS simulator where I actually reinforce the answer that I will provide to this question. Also, sincere thanks to Captain Clarence who has provided his input for this video. So in today's video, we'll be answering the question, can EGDIS be used for collision avoidance? The answer is no. EGDIS cannot be used for collision avoidance. Now you might be wondering, why is that? That is because the rules of the road or the ROR is purely based on speed through water and course through water. It means that when you are assessing a situation, you are trying to determine the risk of collision, you actually take into account the speed through water and the course through water of your own vessel and the vessel with which you have a risk of collision. This is where the speed input into your R power radar becomes very important. So if the speed input is through the electromagnetic log that provides speed through water, then that is the speed you use to determine the risk of collision. The Doppler log, if operating in speed through water mode, also then becomes an important input into your radar or ARPA to determine the risk of collision. However, when it comes to the EGDIS, the EGDIS is receiving inputs from the GPS. It is of course a position input, but it is also an input of the speed over ground and course over ground. So you have to remember that GPS provides input, the speed and the course, that is speed over ground and course over ground, not speed through water and course through water. And that is why the EGDIS cannot be used for collision avoidance. You can use it to monitor the traffic situation. You can use it to monitor the situation, but not to make it a basis for determining whether your action will be enough to avoid the collision with other vessels. Now I will show you what I mean by the GPS input into the EGDIS, where you will see that the GPS provides important inputs into the EGDIS, but it is the input of course over ground, speed over ground, not speed through water or course through water. And what happens if the GPS switches off? What happens then to the EGDIS? Keep watching and I'll show you the video now. So here you can see the top of the EGDIS screen that uh, the GPS input is coming through the position and the speed over ground and the course over ground. However, if I switch off the DGPS here or the GPS here, the digital GPS, as soon as I switch off the power, you will see that all those inputs become red in color, which shows that there is no reliable input into the EGDIS now. That means it is not reliable anymore. Once again, you can see here the course over ground, the heading, the speed over ground and the GPS position is not in red color before the GPS is switched off. So when the GPS is on, the input that is coming in is reliable but it is speed over ground and course over ground, but it cannot be used for collision avoidance. But as soon as I switch off the GPS, you can see everything turns red. That means now this is not a reliable means of any kind of route monitoring or positioning. 